Hello sexy girls and boys of course. So in today's video I thought I would play around with a little bit of color because I always do neutral eyeshadow looks. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm starting this look off by priming my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this because it cancels out all of the veins and also is a great base for the eyeshadow to sit on top of. So after I've blended that out I'm going to go ahead and set it with any sort of translucent powder just to make sure all of the powders that go on over the top just blend out really seamlessly. Now of course it's time to do the eyebrows so I'm taking the MAC fluid line in the shade True Brunette and I'm just gonna create a little bit of an arch because I naturally have really straight brows so I like to kind of make a new shape so just going ahead and doing my thang. Oh, straight eyebrows will be the death of me. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my brows. So just take a bit of concealer that is a few shades lighter than my skin and drag that under my eyebrow and also on top of my brow just to make them appear a bit more sharp. Then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with a bit of eyebrow gel just to make sure they don't go flying around throughout the day. You know what I mean, girl? Now taking my Morphe 35P palette, I'm just picking up a medium brown shade and this is going to be my transition. So just taking this from inner corner to outer corner, this will just allow all of the other purples to blend up into this one. So it's gonna be like a nice gradient. Otherwise it's gonna be a choppy mess. <laughs> The next shade I'm taking is a light mauvey purple, so I'm putting this on a smaller blending brush and just focusing more in the crease. Again, it's just going to allow the other colours to blend up easier because purple is kind of a really harsh colour to work with, so I'm just starting light and then getting more intense. So now taking this really intense purple shade, again on an even smaller blending brush and just working this from inner corner to outer corner. I honestly just sat there for so long just to make sure I didn't put too much on at a time. So small amount by small amount and then slowly work your way up and just diffuse it so it gets lighter and lighter. Don't forget to blend away any edges so there's no harsh lines. Now for the lid color, I'm picking up this beautiful, beautiful shimmery purple. This is going on the inner corner and the outer corner of the lid and we're gonna leave the middle spare for a really nice pop of light purple. These colors were super easy to work with. I just made sure that my brush was wet with Fix Plus before I went in, so they were even more pigmented. So now I'm taking the star of the show. Look how pretty this light purple is. I'm just packing this directly on the middle of my lid to create a halo eye. And of course, finishing off with a bit of a blend. Now it's time for the base, so I'm taking the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. This one is really pretty because it's iridescent and adds a really nice glow to the face. So just melting this into my face with my fingers. Then moving on to foundation, I'm taking this Milani foundation and look how dark it was. It was definitely like two shades too dark for me, but I just worked with it. I put a lot of light concealer on to lighten it up, so don't worry, later on it's gonna look okay, but this was my first time using it and I was so impressed with the consistency and just the coverage and the finish. It was a really, really good foundation and I can't wait to keep using it. I might just have to invest in a lighter shade. Anyways, moving on to concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer once again. I'm literally obsessed with this stuff. It just like evens out under the eyes, it highlights, it just does everything I want. It's not cakey, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. So this is the part where I lighten my whole face with concealer. I feel like it worked really well, it just took a lot of blending with my good old beauty blender. Now I'm taking my NYX HD finishing powder and let me tell you, I had really bad flashback with this when I had a flash on when I was taking selfies, so I would definitely not recommend this stuff, which is really unfortunate. But anyways, moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking that same purple crease color, just putting this from inner corner to outer corner on my lower lash line, really smoking that out. Then I'm going in with that mauve and just blending out um, under the purple, so it kind of diffuses it a tiny bit. And then lastly, I'm taking that purple again the star of the show and putting that in the middle of my lower lash line and boom we are done the eyeshadow moving on to mascara i'm taking the covergirl the super sizer i love this one and yeah i'm just gonna coat my lashes you know the drill girl Oh my god, guys, you're gonna die. This stuff is so pigmented. It's a liner from ColourPop. It was just so opaque and it lasted for such a long time. I am very, very impressed with this. So now I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes. I love to put heaps and heaps of mascara on. 
my top and my bottom, but especially my bottom because they're always going with falsies. These ones are from Lily Lashes. I'm just gonna pop these bad boys down. And I didn't realize the inner corner was flicking up until the end of the video, so I do fix it at the end if you are noticing right now. I know, it's killing me too, it's killing me too. Moving on to a bit of contouring, I'm taking this contour powder by Bobbi Brown. I love this stuff so much. I've used it a lot and I haven't even hit pan yet, which I'm very, very happy about because Bobbi Brown can be really expensive, okay? So I'm using the Eda Brush by NARS and this just applies contour so prominent. I love it. I'm also going to go in and fix my nose up a little bit. <laughs> just kidding. My nose is actually really small. I don't know why I bother, but... It's fun. So now to bronze up the face, I'm taking this MAC bronzing powder, just putting this around my forehead, under my cheekbones, under my jawbone, just to add a bit of a sun-kissed glow to the face. Now it's time for blush. I'm taking this blush from NARS in the shade Luster. This is one of my holy grail blushes. It's so stunning and so shimmery. It just adds a nice pop of peach to your cheeks. So just putting this on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it back. So for highlighter, I'm taking this one from ColourPop. It is really pretty, but you do need something wet on your brush for it to apply really intensely. Like, I like it intensely. Probably not a word. I'm so sorry. My vocabulary is shocking. Anyways, I'm just going to spray that Fix Plus on there and then really work it all over my face. And whoa, it looks so good. So I'm putting this on top of my cheekbones, on top of my brows, down my nose, on my cupid's bow. You know the drill. For the lips today, I'm taking this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Chi. It is so stunning. I love it so much. I recently just got a bunch of stuff from ColourPop and everything is like up my alley. So just applying this all over my lips, I'm trying my best to overdraw them as much as I can because I love that big juicy lip. So for the middle of my lips, I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Milkshake just to make that other liquid lipstick a little bit lighter just so it can match the purple eyeshadow a bit more because we can't have the lips looking too dramatic because the eyes are crazy. So I'm just gonna finish off by spraying my face with the Slay All Day setting spray and it burnt my eyeballs so bad, girl. So just putting some eye contacts in and we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I really like how it turned out, especially for something kind of different. I love this purple eyeshadow palette. It was just incredible to work with. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I love you so much and I will see you soon and I'm gonna stop posing now. Bye.